schools in Syria, so is Murja, so is uh, Kreko. So that's that's really promising for us, and I hope that continues next season. Although, like you mentioned earlier, being in three competitions, we will need more investment, which is always a concern at uh, this time of year. Absolutely, but for example, if it's true that we are looking for Borinio Petagna, who you know, Atalanta had an incredible season and he didn't score 10 goals, then probably I would, have, I would prefer to have Palombi in the squad instead of uh, Petagna or Borini. I don't know if you agree. I, w- I would like to have a guy like Palombi in the squad, but I wouldn't go into a season where you have European matches, Coppa matches and Serie A matches with the whole ambition of finishing in the top four and rely entirely on a guy who's barely played in Serie A behind Immobile. This this year, Lazio were just lucky. We, we were just lucky that, that Immobile didn't get injured because it's, it's unusual to go a whole season without having any injury problems. So I, if that happens and you're left in a situation where you only have your youth strikers, you, you cannot rely on They might step up and they might be brilliant, but you cannot rely on that alone. And the guys you mentioned, Petania, Berini, no, I... I don't think they're the answer either, but I do think that that's a position that needs investment this summer, Absolutely. quite quite badly. Absolutely, yeah. and I, th- I think we need a strong striker, you know, like Zapata from Udinese, that the example of player we should be looking for. Yeah, I'm, I, I, I'm going to mention at this point, we do have a, we, we got a question through, well, not really a question, is uh, Widya Ari got in touch with us to say, I'd like to know who who's the right fit to be the vice immobile and that's I'd just like to flag that up as that being a, a debate we are addressing so for, for you Duvan Zapata is, 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 would that be your number one? Well I think with the budget Lazio have probably would be a player that Lazio could achieve could get and he could be a good replacement because he's he works for the team he's a little bit like immobile but he bring his body his you know, in the box, he could make a little bit of difference and allow Lazio to play a different type of football that could be useful in certain situation. And it's a player that Lazio doesn't have at the moment. But it all depends on the budget, etc. What happened? You know, uh, at the derby, last derby, Keita played striker, and that worked perfectly. So it depends a lot on the match. But I would be happy if we get Zapata and Palombi stays at third option. And, of course, we give away Djordjevic because he proved he's not able to play. What's your thought about that? Yeah, I mean, well, yeah, for, for me, Djordjevic, at this stage, he has to go. There's there's, there's no future for him in, in the squad. And it's a shame because he started so well, but, uh, but he's had his injury problems and so on, and I think it's the right time for him to leave. Uh, in terms of someone coming in, I, I, I do like the idea of Simeone. And it's also... <laughs> linked linked to the fact that he has the surname Simeone, but he also has he's really impressed me this season. I know he's 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 dropped off a bit in the second half and so on, but he's he's he looks like a striker who if Inzaghi got his hands on him and if he was working alongside a guy like Immobile, he would he would have potential to to really step up a level and he has some sort of link to the club. He's experienced Serie A already. He probably wouldn't cost too much. He's in a Genoa team that have performed very badly this season, so I think a move to Lazio would be quite attractive to him. The um, problem is that it looks like AC Milan is on it, and I feel. But Milan are linked with every single yeah, player in Europe, absolutely. so you cannot take their links too seriously, I don't think. But, well, we'll see. We'll see. But, I mean, yeah, we all know what's going to happen in the next few weeks and months we're, we're going to have an enormous amount of names to consider as next Lazio strikers because this is just what happens in the Mercato <laughs> so um, but I, 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 under, I think it's a good point you make in terms of having something different if you, if you have a guy like Zapata someone who actually has the strength and the ability to hold up the ball um, it's it's something different I mean it's not necessarily the style of football in Zaghi's played this season but it's always good to have that option Especially um, when you have, you know, Felipe Anderson, Patrick, uh, Basta, uh, all these players that are very good to put the ball in the box, then you need to have a very good striker, 
a very good header in the in the box. And you cannot only rely on Milinkovic Savic that did it this season. If you have another one there, then you know you can score a couple of goals uh, uh, like that and be even more, yeah, and more dangerous. Going forward this season, generally have been really good. I mean, it's seventy-four goals, which is twenty-two more than we scored last season, which is a huge increase. But at the same time, there is there is this uh, trait of things just sometimes just go really flat, and it happened tonight. It happened against Inter, and it's it's happened a few times. And when things go flat, they don't necessarily look like they know how to address that. And uh, I think at that stage in a game, you need someone to provide a bit of spark as well, and that from from your substitutes bench. Uh, and so I would quite like to see another creative player coming on. I don't think we have many creative options on the bench or any, you know, somebody you could bring on who might just change the game in an instant. We we Luis Alberto, you could maybe argue, but there aren't too many players who who give us that kind of ingenuity, I suppose. Well, Luis Alberto had a decent second half of the season. Uh, he mm-hmm. played really, really well in a couple of matches. I think the problem with Luis Alberto is that he's very similar to Felipe Anderson. So it's going to be difficult to see them playing together uh, in a match, but that can happen. I think Philippe, uh, Simone and Zaki can find a solution. But probably... <laughs> The thing is, Lazio doesn't have a plan B. You know, if plan A doesn't work, that means using Keita, Felipe Anderson, etc., then there's not a plan B. I think uh, I'm going to bring in another question at this point we had from Rami Algendi. And, well, he's, he said he's told us to discuss who will stay and who will leave Keita Billy de Bray, and we've already touched on that. But he also said is <laughs> to talk about if Wesley Hort is any good as a defender. And now... I know from from uh, having had discussions with Rami on, on Twitter before that he is he is not a fan of of Wesley, um, but what what are your thoughts, Vittorio? I, I personally I think he had a very difficult first season, but he's come along a lot this season, and he's he's a much better player now than he was twelve months ago. Honestly, I like Hurt. I th- I think he can improve a lot. Absolutely, he's still young, so he still have plenty of space. Um, he had a rough first year, of course. That's obvious, especially, you know, if you're playing near Mauricio, that doesn't help you. And with a defense that really struggled last year. But even last year, in, in special situation, he proved to be a very good defender. When he's one-on-one, it's very difficult to pass him. Of course, if there's space on this back and you can run, then he's going to struggle because he's not that fast. But I think when it's one on one and he proved it in a lot of key match like even Roma Therapy, it's very difficult to, to pass him. So I'm really impressed with him. And if you ask me, I think Hurt had a better season than De Vrij. And the fact that now he's in the national squad, it's all confirming that he's having a really, really good season. And uh, he still can improve. Uh, of course, De Vrij helped him at the beginning of the season. But I think... You know, I really like Hood, and I think at the moment he's the best defender that that Lazio have, because Wallace is good. But you saw it even today; he made some couple of mistakes against Crotone, and he often tend to do stupid things at least once a time. And if I have to choose, yeah, I I will keep Hood and put maybe someone else near him. But I'm really happy about uh, about uh, Hood, and this proved that how good Tare is in finding these players that no one knows. And, you know, like, a little bit like Milinkovic Savic. And then they perform really, really well. I think the the one concern, I, I like Coates in a, in a back four. I think he looks quite comfortable and strong and he's good in the air. Uh, in a back three, I'm not so convinced with him. And I think the same thing goes for Inzaghi. He, he's... When he's had a back three in important games this season, he, he's tended to to drop Hoot from the team and I think that's probably because like you mentioned he, he has a lack of pace which can be exposed a bit more but I think the more he plays and the more experience he gets I mean another thing like just to bring back to what you mentioned there if you compare the defensive options we have now at centre-back with those four 
to having Mauricio and Gentiletti and Michael Ciani and the rest of the guys we've had to put up with, I think they're, things have improved a lot more. Um, well, they've, they've, they've just improved a lot, and yeah, it's, yep. it's, it's worth giving him more time, I would say. He's, his progress is undeniable. Absolutely, and I think, you know, you were saying when we play with the three men in defence, uh, well, uh, Hood doesn't play because he makes he put De Vrij in the middle, and I think that's the only position that Hood can play when we when Lazio play with three defenders. So if you have to choose, probably you still want De Vrij because he's more a leader than Hood. But I still believe that if Lazio play with three defenders, Hood can play in the middle with Bastos and Wallace in, uh, near him, and he can perform well even there. Of course, De Vrij is more a leader, is most used to play in that position, so he performed better. But I still believe that Hood can play in that position. And absolutely, he, uh, look, people talk about Fazio Manolas and say that they are very good defenders. There's no competition. I mean, De Vrij and Hood are much better. And the only problem is that they are playing with Lazio. So, you know, I, I wouldn't be so, so, so concerned about Hood. Of course, if De Vrij leaves, then we have to buy another one that is able to, to play, start play immediately. But I would be happy with Hurt, De Vrij, Hurt, Wallace and Bastos there. Mm -hmm. I, think, uh, uh, I think it's probably time we address the last question. And I, I would like to say as well, thanks a lot to everyone who has asked us questions. Obviously, this is our first podcast. We are getting things off the ground and it's, it's good to see that people are already interested. Um, but it's quite interesting that a couple of people have wanted to uh, address the issue of, of, of a Lazio stadium. So Austin Bear said, what are the chances we ever get our own stadium? And you said, any idea what Latito's long-term stadium plans are? He also said, can we hold on to Inzaghi, which is a separate question. So uh, first of all, I think uh, the stadium question, Vittorio, this is something that every Lazio fan, I think, would really like to see happen at some point. But... Is it realistic? Can you can you see this happening? I'm a little bit concerned because I thought when Roma applied for the stadium, Lazio would, Lazio would immediately go and make the proposition as well. Instead, Lotito waited a lot. The the question, the problem is, Lotito as Roma has a property, property of the land where they want to build the stadium, because they're going to make money out of that. So they have already a property. Uh, I know that they don't want to give the ability to build a stadium there because it's near the river, it's not a very nice position, etc., etc. And now Lotito will will go hard and say, OK, you're allowed Roma to build a stadium there in a pretty much similar position, so I want you to give me the authorization to build it there. We're going to see what happens. Uh, a lot of fans wanted the Flaminio, because it's in the middle of the town. Lazio mm -hmm. played a lot of matches there. It would be amazing. But Lotito doesn't want to hear that. Lotito has his property, his land there, and want to build the stadium there, possibly build what he's called uh, the Cittadella, you know, uh, uh, apartments, hotels, Lazio village, something like that, to make money out of that. So I, I think he's going to have the approval in the next year. But it's not going to be that easy, I think, to... to it's going to take four or five years, I think, at least, before, think, we, before we see it. I think the other really important thing that we've learned in, in recent years is how difficult it can be to get a stadium project completed in Italy generally. And obviously Juventus have had huge success since they've managed it. Udinese have managed to open their own one. But if you look at Milan's issues they've run into, and Roma, like you said, they've they had, it's been a long time coming for them to try and get that uh, that project on the go. So, for me, although I would I would love to see it happen, and the idea of it uh, really appeals to me. I, I have to say, it's, it's I'd be very surprised if within the next decade I'll be sitting in a new Cuba North. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think optimistically we can think in a couple four five years they could start, but. So this means other th two, three years to finish it. So yeah, eight years at least before we see a Lazio stadium. Mm. Although I mean, it's 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 something the club really need to look at, isn't it? I mean, you can see 
like I mentioned with the Juventus before, you can see the success they've had 